Am I the only one that didn't know these guerrilla family tactics are modified from Canadian military tactics? Hey there, military enthusiasts. Today, I'm diving deep into the fundamental building blocks of an effective squad, the two-man fire team. This old school instructional style will break down how these pairs function and more importantly, how multiple two-man fire teams come together to form a squad. Ready? Let's roll. At the core of any well-oiled military unit is the fire team. A fire team typically consists of two soldiers. These two-man units are designed for maximum efficiency and flexibility. One soldier acts as the rifleman, while the other takes on the role of the automatic rifleman or a grenadier. This combination ensures that each fire team has both precision and suppressive fire capabilities. Now let's talk about how these two-man fire teams work together to form a squad. In a standard squad, you'll find multiple fire teams. For simplicity's sake, let's say there are four two-man fire teams. Each team is responsible for a specific sector of the battlefield. The first fire team provides cover and suppressive fire. This team lays down a barrage, pinning the enemy and preventing them from moving freely. The second fire team advances, using the cover fire to move closer to the target. Meanwhile, the third fire team is on standby, ready to exploit any gaps or weaknesses created by the first two teams. Finally, the fourth fire team remains in reserve, ready to reinforce any of the other teams or respond to unexpected threats. Notice how each team has a specific role, yet they all work in unison. Communication is key here. Each fire team leader maintains constant contact with the squad leader and other team leaders, ensuring that everyone is on the same page. Um, now let's zoom out a bit. How does this squad operate within a larger unit? Imagine multiple squads, each made up of these two-man fire teams, all working together in a coordinated effort. Each squad covers different sectors, creating a layered defense or a multi-pronged attack. The beauty of this structure is its flexibility. If one fire team is taken out or pinned down, another can quickly adjust and take over its responsibilities. This redundancy ensures that the squad remains effective even under heavy fire. In summary, the two-man fire team is the backbone of a well-coordinated squad. Each pair of soldiers brings unique skills to the table, and when multiple fire teams come together, they form a versatile and resilient unit. So the next time you think about military tactics, remember that it all starts with these small but mighty two-man fire teams. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more military insights. Until next time, stay sharp.